Uh, massive well done to Block as well. Block managing to take down the demons that were Pride Month that were the ones who sent them to losers in the first place. So they will be feeling really proud of themselves, no doubt, with that performance. And they get the chance now to take on the absolute titans that are Nakla. So we have a incredible grand finals coming your way very, very soon. Yep, um, players are joining the lobby, so I think we, we're gonna keep talking. I mean, it's, this is not a rematch, this is the Clark, but we've seen beat Prime on 3 2 versus Block. That uh, technically but, uh, beat Prime on 3 3 because both teams pre owed each other. So, Block, they, they've shown us that they, once they have momentum in their favor, they are going the distance, and uh, it's all a matter of ca what can they do against Naklar's tent, which is a weapon that nobody at that level is used to play against the tent anymore. It's been so long that there has been a good tent, so that's that's going to be the challenge for for Block. Of other than um, Shadow, who somehow managed to make the Brella. The tent umbrella seem viable even before yeah. the fix. So Shadow, Shadow must be doing the can can around this recent patch because it seems the consensus seems to be umbrellas are relatively fixed and they're at a point where um, you know it's mainly the kits that are letting them down now rather than um, <clears throat> the actual main weapons viability. So the lobby is forming, folks. We aren't going to have a break. Poor Pat with uh, his vocal I'm cords. So fine. press F to pay respect. <laughs> I'm fine. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. And I'm sorry, but I'm totally rooting for a uh, block uh, bracket reset here so that you have to suffer with me a little bit longer because this has just been absolutely gorgeous. Top tier Splatoon 3 gameplay and uh, I, I, I want as much of it as I can lap up this Friday evening. Yep. And remember, this is Grand Finals. Meaning we have a best of five, and if Block wins that best of five, they have to win another best of five. I mean, that is that is no trivial ask, is it, against a team of the class standards? That is a very, very intimidating mountain to climb. But I think what we just saw from Block doing an incredible job in that previous game is that they're warmed up, they're still ready to go. They have what it takes to compete at a really decent level of play. Um, and they're not going to make it easy for Nakla by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah. to confirm, it's counterpick central time, it's best of five. We will be opening up on Eel Tail Alley, uh, but then after that, it, every uh, map is fair game for people. So it is going to be a case of how well can you adapt against these fast paced, constant pressured, intense matches. So. And it's also going to be a battle of who has the best exclamation mark at the end of the name? Because it's not Block versus Nakla, it's Nakla versus Block! <laughs> oh, they're one step away from like having full on wrestling announcements in them. <laughs> so that, that's amazing. You had a little need, bit of grit in your voice. We yeah. need to do that someday. <laughs> well, well I, I do metal vocals in my spare time, Pat, so I can always do some screamo intros for them, but it tends to cut out on Discord, doesn't like it, it cuts to my. Uh... So I, I won't do that tonight. I'll save people the, um, <laughs> the, the shock. And it's time to get in. Both teams going with the comms that they've shown us until now. And I, I'm, act I, I'm hoping to see Bray with the squeezer. Getting, getting the works because that weapon is so technical but can do so much anger already if well you don't want them to be. <laughs> and they're so sneaky about it as well. They hide yeah. in the tiniest patch of ink knowing that the Brella can carry them safely through a disadvantageous position. Bringing out a very close range Zooka there. Managed to get a pick before they go down and so far Block have the numbers disadvantage but they do look like they've got the zone control so they're doing a good job for biding for time. Lots of people jumping into that ink jet. But uh, Block is getting pressured back by them. The blaster now. Here we go. This is what Noctis is known for. No fear. Look how deep they're going. Retreating to their bubbler. But Nakla really quite deep into Block territory here. And this is going to be quite a challenging situation for them to get out of. Anger, what are you doing? They don't know fear. Nakla is not stopping. And right now, Block has to get back to the zone. And Nakla has a very good luck out with Noctis camping that bridge. He's going to finally get punished. Block has a big zone to paint, though. 
And Zay with the gold point is going to delay things, is going to finally get picked up and block. The blind penalty can finally move forward, but Inger has something to say about that. Oh, they do, and they say take the Zuka to the face. Not quite getting a pick on this occasion, but I think Anger just plays this weapon so wonderfully aggressively. Like, it is a beautiful support um, support kind of uh, aggro kind of hybrid because it feels like it is really able to touch its own weight now. The Clark getting a retake so, so quickly as well. So wipe. quickly. That's a delayed wipe uh, on block in the car right now. They are on block's bridge, ready to do more lookouts and... The ball point is going to come, the bubble is going to come. There's one sneaky one on the side of block, trying to get in and bait the zone. It's Bray with the squeezer. He's going to manage to apply, at least uh, neutralize the zone, not a uh, yes, final penalty. They, we, we need to point this out to block as well, like just how good their recoveries have been. Because mm -hmm. especially that first offensive between the Clara and uh, Anger, like it looked like it was close to just being completely locked down. Um, block managing to keep their cool and not just adapt, but adapt quite quickly is huge. That being said, they are down to one player. They need to retreat. Crow doing everything they can to retreat while holding a bit of ground. I think that's a sensible decision, even if they do let the zone go. Using their strike to try and delay that, not quite paying off. But Block slowly getting back in here, slowly starting to chip away. Uh, um, their timer and make this more of an even game so yeah this is not as one-sided as perhaps it started yeah and it looks like that punish on anger is going to give a lot of breathing room for block and block can get to the bridge on that zuta <laughs> back to under the bridge is going to get a pick zay but mcclaw has done with their penalty and that's a big zone to pain so if Block manages to apply that penalty. There they do. They get some breathing. Get rid of anger. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, if just doing the assist with the roll of the crab tank. That is disrespectful, but worked out beautifully there. Lucky coming in now with the uh, jet. They've also been incredible. And it gorgeous predictability there as to where Zay was retreating to. Three down. Block have an incredible opportunity here to apply massive, massive pressure. Yeah, with no penalty, Block is on their way to maybe get the game won. They just need to, uh, to block uh, the Claw from pushing in, and it looks like the Claw is 3 versus 2. The lead is taken, though. Anger on the zone with the tent, painting as much as they can. They're gonna get the zone back. But there's just a minute left, and they have a pretty big penalty to get rid of, and Block is right there. We couldn't be asked in for a juicier opening to these grand finals, folks. We've got Zookas flying out the wazoo. We've got Lucky about to come out with a jet and apply that carnage again that allowed them to retake so well earlier. That being said, the timer, the penalty, it's nearly gone for the Clark. They've only got to hang in there a little bit longer and they're going to take the lead. Oak doing everything they can here with this crab tank to make it happen. But look at Anger hiding in their Brella shield. It's really allowed them to stall on the zone. And Nikla clutching the lead with only 20 seconds left. And are Block going to get a reclaim or is this going to be the end of the game right here, right now? It's not penalty yet and it's 2v2 on the zone. The inkjet is going to go down. It's just anger in a 1v2. But the zone is not at its cap. One second before the end. And Block has 40 points to get rid of. I was just, in my head, I'm just going, paint, 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 you've got to paint. And they did, they yes. did, they did. They took their time, they got there. Here comes Zay with their jet now. Two going down on block very, very quickly. So it looks oh. like the car, oh, oh have That's this in the right back. Out. And you could not have a more powerful statement than a Zooka to the face to close out game one. But that is just game one. And both of these teams have shown us but they are ready to go the distance. <sighs> I mean, oh, I am. Um, I got so hyped, I coughed. Ooh, that was um very, very engaging game one. Very good win for the club, but brilliant back and forth. Block really showing they can hold their own, even against a team of the class caliber. So Block get to choose where to go next. Maybe, for all we know, Eel Till just wasn't one of the best um, maps. And uh, yeah, there is everything to play for right now. And you can bet with Block coming this far, they're going to want that bracket reset.
Yes, they want it, but first they need to choose the next map. And they want to win on that one, otherwise Naclara has an early way towards victory. So that counter pick is going to be decisive for block right now. And they haven't quite found it yet, so they, they're probably having a discussion not just based on where they want to go, but where they think they're going to be able to best shut down um, Naclar's comp. Because Naclar's comp has been very consistent throughout the evening, hasn't it? I don't mm. think they've changed weapon variety too much, and it just seems to be working for them re regardless of where they are. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It seems to be their playstyle. Uh, like, I didn't think nerfing the machine would bring so much diversity but here we are with a vanilla blaster and tent comp that is doing the work and that is doing so much and i'm so glad to watch it this month of june is going to be an uh, absolute absolutely awesome for comp splatoon and so please keep tuning in for more tournaments but keep Keep watching this one because this one, I don't think you can top that very easily. This has been such a tournament and these two teams have shown us such a crazy game one that I, I have to expect them to keep giving us so much action. It, it's, it's just been an absolute privilege to be honest and I think you're completely right about the meta direction. I mean, Sloshy Machine has been kind of getting slaps on the wrist since launch. Um, as, as someone that really enjoys the weapon, it did need um, a way of being less centralizing. And I really don't think the weapon is bad now, but it has definitely um, been toned down to the point that you can't just rely on it for its all around catchability anymore. Um, I think so far it's been quite a rewarding early change. I think we've seen some good comp diversity this evening. <laughs> and yeah. bear in mind, we're in the very, very early days. We have so much time to get a feel for these weapons and adapt and see what um, you know people settle on. But so far, this has just been so entertaining to watch. Like the the traumatic days of quad crab tank are long behind us, and that is really important for the long term health of this game. I I feel like very soon people are gonna start asking for a counter to bolt point and especially inkjet. But it's such a it's such a treat to watch an inkjet <laughs> going ham on the enemy team that honestly I don't want to see a counter to it. I want more of it. And I think the ballpoint has quite obvious limitations that the splash kind of doesn't have. Um, not being a continuous fire weapon for one. And also the inkjet, some people make it look easy. It isn't easy to use it this well at this level. It is, it is, you know, it is rewarding really good skill. Um, Naclar managing to come out very, very strong and swinging here. They've seen two players go down and they're pushing deep. Anger, of course, able to push forward even when it's even numbers, but they are going to get punished for overextending there. Bray able to get a gorgeous pick off the side as well, so this is going to be Block's opportunity to regain a bit of control. They want to get in there quite quickly and they're going to manage it very, very nicely recovered. Yeah, it looks like Naclar is back to their spawn and getting picked by the price rate. Block have the zone, have control, and they are painting for special preparing to get the brunt of uh, the, the, the class next attack, and we know it's going to start with a tent dropping. And the tent has been dropping, and now it's the Injet trying to get the follow. Block is going to get the lead, but right now, the class all this is due. Zay, Zay must have been just very lightly grazed by that ink strike. That looks so close to taking them out, but they did manage to bob and weave their way around it. Niklar managing to regain some control, but that was not easy for them. They got knocked out a few times by Block there, trying to get back in. And look how quickly three have gone down, Pat. We've got Block again yeah. with the advantage. The last player getting really pressured by Bray Zuka there and having to retreat. So, so far, Block looking the stronger team on this map. The stronger, but by not so much if you look at the points. It's all mm. going to depend on if they can initiate the blackout button to pick. Oh, the squeezer is going to enable Nakla to get back in. And, and here come these jets that have become yeah. so scary and that we know do so much work. 
Zay doing everything they can to pressure Bray here, forcing Bray into a less advantageous position, but Lucky with their own Whoa. jet. Anger! No Anger! Anger! Ten Tenta Brella, more like Tenta Slayer. This is, this is absolutely crazy. Anger has no fear. And Anger it didn't get splatted in that. They went to the enemy plat just to say hi and then went away and Anger getting another pick right there uh, pushing again the clock getting a very good lead but block has three specials at the ready and they're all gonna come but the inkjet is going to be stopped it's just the tri strike and crab right now Nakla is painting the zone it looks like Nakla is in a very good spot right now yeah, this is a huge shift in momentum, and not only is the timer gone, but two players are down again. So all the clock have to do oh! is get there. But when you're getting directed to the face by an inkjet like that, there is no hope of recovery. And the Claw, after what was a very intense struggle for the majority of this game, had a really decisive closer there. That game was really close until it really wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's that is some that match up in one sentence. Yeah. Yeah. But that means Nakla are one game away from being your Triton Cup champions, and Block have a reverse sweep to do now. And my God, Nakla have had to work for it though, haven't they? The caliber of teams this mm. tournament has been incredible. The caliber of teams are weak, to be honest. Even Paddling Pool, as our midweek tournament, had 44 entrants, and there were so many um, talented teams as a part of that as well. And, uh, you know, Block showing they can hold their own with all of them, so Block are probably going to be really feeling the nerves now. Have to think this through where they go and pick. I Hopefully they've saved their best map for this emergency situation. Um, we're going to see shortly where their choice is and see if they can start to turn the tables on what has got to be one of the scariest uh, teams in Splatoon right now. If you're watching this, take note, you have to learn to count to 10. That's, that's a thing now. It's if you... I'm not sure 10 is the best, this is too soon to tell, but if you don't know how to count to 10, you're going to have problem in the next few months in competitive Splatoon. Because oh, yeah. good players are going to come back and they're going to make you cry. <laughs> and I think it's... Uh, it, the, the thing with the tent as well is it's how well it just stalls. Like, mm. it, it's the fact the tent can just survive in these incredible situations where other weapons wouldn't have a hope in, you know, managing the same. Um, and biding time has been a big thing Anger's done tonight. So it isn't just the man to pop off and create these offensive openings. It's how well defensively they can deny space, deny paint, and prevent that zone from being reclaimed. And that's been a huge factor in um, Nakla being able to hold their own in some of these situations. We're going over to Humpback Pump Track. I have not seen this since it's been reintroduced to the game. Is it different to Splatoon 2, Pat, or is it um, comparable? Uh, I, I have seen only one game of Humpback Zone earlier with Kader and it was a very... a, a lot of flanks, it, a lot was happening everywhere on the map. Mm. Not sure how these teams will approach it. Not sure what what kind of meta is going to emerge for Humpback Pop Track. Interesting. I, I feel like there, are, there aren't that many good Booyah Bomb and Missile's farming options. So that's going to go in favor of a more aggressive meta and there are, there are flanking options. And I, I, I've seen the a Squeezer do so well, like create so much problems for their enemy. So uh, I expect Ray to, to really get things going and uh, do a lot. And if you're hoping for a Squeezer on your team, Bray is one of the best you can ask for very very consistent player and has really shown how good the squeezer is if you've got the mechanical hands to back it up this evening very intense start immediately two players going down not sure if that was a trade Ooh. or a revenge pick but look at noctis coming in swinging here getting punished though but not without getting the assist and a very aggressive start on both sides but the map looking very green yeah mcclough with a lot of momentum and block 
They brought the machine back from the dead to make it work on this map because they know Boyabomb is so good on this map. Oh yeah, it is. And it's very good against the Tentabrella as well, to be honest. It's a very good way to uh, challenge the Tentabrella. But look how green this map is. Three players down on the side of block. So this is going to be when the Cloud go in deep. Start applying the pressure. Look at Anger trying to deny this entire row. Getting punished by Crow. That was really good awareness of how Anger tends to follow behind their brella for the kill. They're going to try and get a reclaim here while they have the numbers advantage. And if they manage to do so, I would say it's a very good recovery in what was looking a very scary situation. But they just can't get the cap. The Claw will not let them get ownership of this zone. Finally, they do. Yes. But McClaw is already back on the attack, like not letting Block even get rid of their so small penalty. And McClaw is there again, doing so much with anger with the tent. It's like the tent mains have been playing with the weighted clothing this whole time, and now they can finally <laughs> remove the weight. Oh, they can, and it's. Um... It is it is definitely finding a home in this game again. Brella users rejoice. You actually have an option that um, seems to have a home in this meta, and this is in the very early days before people get used to yeah. optimizing, getting compositions. Ooh. Weapon diversity always a beautiful thing. That was a gorgeous direct shutting down that Zuka. Again, it's looking very very scary for Block here. They, that anger. Um, anger just. <laughs> anger. Anger, anger just there. Just anger. Yeah. Yeah, you get, you get rid of my tent, I have another, and I'm still in your street. Oh, That's disgusting! Is it, is it gonna be a full no, fight? It is not! Just lucky! It's just lucky though, and there's the rest of the claw that just had to watch Anger create all that havoc. And now the claw is 25 points away from victory! Bro has done so good this evening, these one-on-one -on -one exchanges, but they have got to make something happen for the team as a collective now. It's seven seconds, they need a penalty or their Crichton Cup run comes to an end and Nakla showing why they are so, so scary and why these players are so respected and feared by a very strong 3-0 that will give them the goals, give them the Triton Cup 56 crown. But what a tournament this has been. That was awesome to watch and awesome to commentate with you, Kitty Boy. <laughs> a, bit, a pleasure as always, Pat, the same as it, as it was for Paddling on Wednesday. You've done amazing to have the vocal stamina to get through the entire <laughs> thing. But what a showing. And Block, incredible turnaround, incredible adaptability as a team to have gone from losing 3-0 to Pride Month to 3 0 them to get back here. I think they can be incredibly proud of how they did, even if that grand finals might have been a bit disappointing for them. And what tonight has shown, folks, is that this game has so much life in it. Um, we're going to be getting updates till September 2024, but these these tweaks and changes to the weapon balancing, even if maybe they don't seem that significant on paper, are, are huge for this game and are, are turning this game into quite a healthy, quite diverse um meta where lots of play styles and weapon choices can shine and i think that is an absolutely beautiful thing that is going to keep this game no pun intended fresh <laughs> uh for a very <laughs> long time so yeah uh any any broader thoughts on this uh tournament and the game as a whole for it, it it was awesome and uh you'll see more very soon on battle productions thank you all so much for watching and I hope we see these teams, these teams in the top three, but all the other teams that we've seen in tonight. I hope we see more of them because these were awesome games. <laughs> and Chi, where really where well. can where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter, folks. Uh, uh, Majora's kindly put our tags in uh, the stream. Chili boy underscore splat. Uh, I tend to make premature uh, conclusions about the patch notes and then eat my words one or two days later after I actually get to observe the meta a bit. So <laughs> that's generally what I'm doing and also enjoying the amazing memes that this community uh, produces on the regular. Where can they find you, Pat? Well, you can find me on Twitter at Marjora0503. Oh, wait, that's our streamer, Marjora, who's been doing <laughs> a banger job. 
Thank you so much, Marjora. Yeah, you can find me at Pat or Tom. It's on the screen, so you can read. Yeah, Pat J underscore or underscore Tom. Um, yeah, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Having like a really active uh, chat always really adds to the experience. And uh, yeah, major shout outs to Majora, who is a really reliable, consistent streamer for us at Dapples. Uh, and also is just such a good cameraman that means we get to capture all angles of the action, which is, a, I think, a really underappreciated skill that I know me and Pat, uh, yeah, re really value uh, him for. So thank you so much for joining us, folks. Uh, incredible experience, an incredible start to the weekend. Um, and there's going to be so much more Dapple Productions up and coming ahead. It feels like there's just a constant influx of hype and tournaments coming our way. And yeah, we want you to keep coming along and being a part of it. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll be back again very, very soon.